Hi Grace Church, I just wanted to say a massive thank you from me on behalf of the team for the positive response that we received yesterday as we began to tell you that we were having to suspend our gatherings and try and move as much of our activity as possible online. We just had so many people contact us with helpful advice and information, people that have since moved on from Grace Church and gone to other countries or parts of the country for work, people um, that already use lots of these different platforms for their work and business. So just now we've been experimenting with using Zoom, uh, which I'd really encourage as many of you to get on your mobile devices and to also log on either via the uh, desktop app or on uh, your web browsers as well, because I think that that is gonna be the way that we're going to operate our community groups. And it looks like a great way that we're gonna still be able to operate into the word for those of you that have signed up to do that. On Sunday, Jez Chalmers and the rest of the Chalmers family, I think, um, are going to uh, live stream from their house. Jez is next up to bat in our One Thessalonians series. So he's gonna preach to us, probably over Facebook Live, but we're gonna try and see if we can get him to do that on YouTube live stream as well, uh, because you can engage with that on smart TVs for those of you that would rather not sit looking at your uh, mobile device or your desktop computer or whatever. Um, so more information about how to log on to that will follow via email shortly. Just wanted to encourage you that our food bank service, which happens every Wednesday evening, uh, is going to continue to happen. Um, it's radically going to be different because we can't invite people into the venue. We can't have that uh, sort of hospitable kind of cafe environment that we often uh, like to provide for our guests. But Bex, our community worker and the team have talked about safe ways in which they can still provide emergency food parcels for people coming with um, those slips uh, to qualify for food bank provision uh, at the door of our venue. She was working really, really hard yesterday, parceling up as many packs for families and individuals as possible to limit the contact, the time uh, that we spend engaging, just to honor those government guidelines and restrictions. I really want to encourage you as well, we're also going to be able to continue to provide some hot food for those that usually join us at Food Bank just for that purpose. It's going to be a takeaway option, it's going to be simple, but we're just pleased that we're still able to give some people food that really would benefit and need it on the night. And that's going to be in the way of a takeaway soup and a hearty bread roll. Um, it's better than nothing, which I think at one point was going to have to be the option. So. Please pray for that team tonight. Uh, reduced down team, some people obviously unable to volunteer because they're in some of those high risk groups, um, but we're still able to function for the time being. So praise God, really good thing. Please pray for them. And some more information will follow soon about how to engage with our community groups, probably via Zoom, and how to engage with us on a Sunday morning, probably initially via Facebook Live. Thanks ever so much, everyone.